What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today guys I'm going to show you guys how to get the film look in Final Cut Pro and get the look like all the films and cinematic videos you see on YouTube. So basically in the description there's going to be a download called Cinematic Pack by Rory Illage and first thing you want to do is open up that so you're going to unzip that. It should come up with a folder, name the same and then you're going to open that up. It will have two fonts called Babas Nure, I think is how you pronounce it and then Didot Regular. So you want to install those. Obviously, Babas Nure is more of a modern font. So, and then Dido is more of an old-fashioned. So you want to pick which one, whichever suits your film, as that will help setting the scene. So you're gonna to want to install those and then jump on over to Final Cut Pro. Okay, now that we're in Final Cut Pro, the first thing you want to do to get the film look is add a letterbox. Now, by doing a letterbox, it's gonna add two black bars at the top and bottom. You can choose the aspect radio ratio um, 185 is like the smallest bars and then obviously 3 is the most narrow if you want to know what the most common one for films it is 235 so that is that there or if you want a bit more narrow you can go 255 but I probably wouldn't go all the way down to 3 unless you want a really wide screen okay so once you've done that you want to apply a lot now if you don't have M lot already which is right here um, I'm going to link it in the description, so it's this plugin here, it's a free download so guys go check it out, it's really useful because it's like much faster than using the colour wheel and everything like that. So first thing you want to do is drag on MLOT and then it will probably show up over here, um, you're going to go load custom lot and if you're wondering what those cube files were in my, in the pack that you just downloaded, they were for... Um, there were lots, the Q files. So dark greens is a really good one, but teal and orange is probably the is my favourite. So dark greens is kind of a tumbler green look. Hollywood, obviously, that just gives you your not teal and orange Hollywood look, but you're more of your green and yellows. Soft light is good for like sit down videos inside where you have a soft light on you and good lighting. Teal and orange is obviously your kind of Sam Calder teal and orange look and Hollywood. And then vintage faded is good and the tile speaks for itself. It's just got that vintage grain kind of faded look to it with the matte effect. So I'm going to select Cuban Orange because that's my favourite, Teal and Orange I mean. And you're going to click Load and that will, as you can see if you tick that off, you can see the difference. So Teal and Orange gives a really nice look. And you can change the intensity here. So bring it up is going to do, make it more intense. You can change the highlights with M-Light, but I'm just going to leave that there mid-tones obviously and then you can change the shadows and the contrast also you can change the hue but I probably wouldn't mess with that because the it can give cool looks see how the they're blue now but I'm just gonna leave it how it was and then saturation obviously just makes it gives it a bit more vibrancy and makes it more saturated so I'm gonna up that a little bit and maybe put the contrast up a little bit too so that looks nice right there and last thing to get the film look, you can add grain, which gives it a really nice film look too. Alright, so if you want to add text to your film, this, you're going to grab on a basic title. So just go to text at the top and then basic title. You want to, I'm just going to hit B and then blade it and back to A and delete. Now that's where you want your title to be. So then you're going to go over to the lines, so the type box. You're going to type in whatever, so I'm just going to type in my name. And then you're going to go through the fonts, so you can either choose Didot or Babas, Babas. but I'm going to do Babas because that is my favourite font. As you can see there, that is actually kind of like that for the look, so I'm going to make it that. And then you just, you can make that whatever size, and then you just hover it to make it in the middle. And that is my film look for Final Cut Pro. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, comment suggestions for my next video.